Good morning, children. I greet you this uh, 16th day of August, uh, 2015, and I thank God for having taken care of uh, me. I hope he has taken care of you, children, in the past week. Uh, today we want to talk about the love of God. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that if you believe in him, you should not perish but have everlasting life. In the picture that I'm holding, you can see Jesus Christ on the cross. Jesus Christ went to the cross not because of his sins, but because of your sins and my sins. And he agreed to go there, not because he loved us. And um, Jesus Christ, when he was speaking to his disciples, he told them, greater love has no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. So Jesus went to the cross because you and I are his friends, and he wants you to be his friend. And he died for you and me. He went through pain, he went through suffering, because of his love for you. We need to respond to this love and love this, our God who loved us to that point of sending his only son. You can see Christ uh, on the cross and on the two sides, uh, on either side is a thief. And on one of the thieves, when still on the cross, cried to Jesus and said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus Christ said to him, today, I say unto you that you shall be with me in paradise. So that thief, when he died, he went to be with the Lord. He went to paradise. You and I have a chance to believe in Jesus now when we are alive. We can tell him, Jesus, come into my heart, forgive me my sins, cleanse me from all unrighteousness, and make me your child. And uh, change my life and make it what you want it to be. If you make that prayer and say, Jesus, I surrender to you, come into my heart and save me, he will for save you and forgive you all your sins. And that's a wonderful relationship to start with Jesus. And you shall also be with him in heaven as this thief was also with Jesus in paradise that day. So have that as you think about it and welcome your brothers and sisters also to believe in Jesus and your friends. And uh, with those few many words, may God bless you and um, I want us to pray. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we thank you for the opportunity you have given us to remember that you loved us to the point of agreeing to lay down your life on the cross for our sins. We pray that you may forgive us our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, and make us your children, that we might be children of the Heavenly Father. And when we see you in heaven, we shall be careful to thank you because you, have, you died for us and you gave us the opportunity to become your children. And be with these children even today and the rest of the week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So children, God loves you and have a blessed um, afternoon. And before that, after this, we have a, a wonderful, wonderful teacher. She's a, a teacher, Doreen Kimadi, and she's going to teach you your Sunday school lesson for today. Let's welcome her as she comes. Amen. Amen. Good morning, children. Hi. How are you? How have you been? Long time. We've missed you. High five. High five. High five. Praise God. How are you again? And we remember when you were in church school, what were we told? That every day as we sit at home, even as we continue being home, we must read our Bibles and we must pray. We must do what, children? Read our Bibles and pray. Do we remember the song? Do we remember the song, children? Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. Children, are we still praying together with our parents? Are we reading our Bibles? Yes, we should, and we should continue doing so. Why? If we want to grow. And uh, my name is Teacher Doreen, and today I'm going to teach, to take us through our lesson and we will be learning about patience. But uh, before we go to our word, uh, let us close our eyes and let us pray. 
Our dear everlasting Father, we come before you this morning to thank you for your goodness, to thank you for your mercy, oh dear Father. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to listen to your word, another opportunity for you to speak to us as little children. Let us hear your word, and Father Lord, let us also do what our, the, your word tells us to do. We pray this shortly, believing and trusting in the name of the Father. Amen. Children, we say, Amen. And now I'm going to request one of us, Kendi Kemathi, to take us through the reading of today. And we are going to read from the, word, from the book of uh, John, chapter 6, from verse 16 to 21. Kendi, please take us through the reading. Praise God. My name is Joel Kendi, and I'm from Shalom District. And today I'm going to be reading John, chapter 6, verse 16 to 21. And it says, When evening came, Jesus' disciples went down to the lake, got into a boat, and went back across the lake towards Cap Capernaum. Night came on, and Jesus still had not come to them. But then a strong wind was blowing and stirring up the water. The disciples who had rowed about five or six kilometers when they saw Jesus walking on the water. Coming near the boat, and they were terrified. Don't be terrified, Jesus told them. It is I. Then they willingly took him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached land and at the place they were heading for. And that's the word of the Lord. Uh, thank you, Candy, for reading to, uh, to us so well. God bless you. And remember what we said. Let's continue reading our Bibles and praying every day. Before I can go to the word that we've just read, do we remember what had happened, children? Jesus had just fed the 5,000 men. And we are, the Bible says men. If we assume they were children and women, how many people do we think Jesus had fed? Maybe more, isn't it, children? But the Bible says 5,000. What had Jesus used to feed the 5,000? How many what? What was two? What was five? Yes, two what? Fish and five, you know, like this, okay? And when Jesus had finished feeding them and they were full, uh, we are told the people wanted to make him a king. And because he knew his time had not yet come, he decided to go to the other side of the hill. And with his 12 disciples, he left them with the people that he had fed and he went alone. And the word says on verse 16, when the evening came, the disciples went down to the sea. And because it was evening and Jesus had not come, they decided to get into a boat so that they could cross to wherever they had come from. It is normal for us, even in this time of COVID, we want to go back to where our lives were before COVID. Uh, but now Jesus had not come and it is evening, so they decide, let us get to the boat, and we cross over back to where we had come from. And then we are told, in the sea there was a storm. Do we know what a storm looks like, children? You know, how does a boat move when there is a storm in the sea? How many have seen a boat in the sea? And they were scared. What happens when, there is, when the boat is moving like this and you're in the waters? What do you think the disciples were doing? I'm sure they were shouting. They were screaming. Some may have been crying. Others were wondering and they were shaking and they were wondering what is going to happen to us. But just in that moment, they saw Jesus walking on water. And you know what Jesus told them? Don't be afraid. I am here. Don't be afraid. I am here. And that brings us to our lesson this morning, where we are learning about being patient. Uh, and if we can look at uh, what it means to be patient, when I look at the dictionary, and I'm sure our teachers had taught us how to use the dictionary before the schools were closed, patient is equal to being able to wait. You know, children, are we able to wait this morning? Or we are like the Jesus disciples, so evening had come, and they could not wait for him anymore. 
they decided to get to their boat and they cross over. But there was storm. But what happened when Jesus came? The storm went. And we are told immediately they got to their destination. It, it, it is not a must that they had moved and they were almost at the end. And that's why they got to their destination first. I believe the reason why they got to their destination first, it is because now Jesus was in their boat. And uh, many are the times that we want to move and go fast, we forget God in our lives. But let us remember, if we want to get to our destination children, if we want to get where we want to be, even as parents, our moms and our dads, let us have Jesus in our boat. Let us not feel like he has taken so long even to take away this corona. No, Jesus is still there. Let us invite him into our boat and everything will be okay. Suddenly the storm will stop. And so, just like the disciples, there are nice things that we want as children. What do we like most? Children, girls? Yes, I can hear dolls. What else do girls like? Nice dresses, high shoes. What else do we like, girls? What else do we like? Yes, nice hair. What about the boys? We love bicycles and balls. And you remember what? Where was our mom and dad taking us on Sundays afternoon? Where was mom and dad taking us? Yes, I can hear TRM. Someone is saying, sports view. Where else were we going for bouncing castles? Yes, all those things we liked and we enjoyed. The class eight now, we are being told we must wait for longer for our KCP. Our bigger brothers and sisters, they are being told for their KCSE to finish their high school and the others to finish university you have to wait. And so children, let us learn to wait. Let us be patient with ourselves. Let us be patient with God first and foremost and believe in him that soon this corona will be over. Soon, regardless of what we may be going through, it will be over. Let us be patient with our parents. Children, when the daddy tells you today we cannot go to TRM, don't begin to cry and telling me, you know, Baba, Baba Mary took them to TRM last week. Me, Daddy, you can't take me. I hate you. No, let us be patient with our dads and moms. A time will come. If, if they say not today, we can do it next Sunday. The word of God is teaching us. Let us be patient with one another. Uh, let us also be patient with our sisters and brothers. We are all in the house now, and the brother wants to keep the remote, and the other brother is like, no, you can't keep it. Let us be patient with one another. Let us be able to wait and wait for the right time, because we believe at the right time, God will be there for all of us. And so children, we are saying, when we feel bad, when we feel like what we want is not getting, is not uh, happening now. When we feel like, no, it has been very long. Mom, you promised. Daddy, you promised. Auntie promised. Let us continue to be patient. It is not in vain that we continue to wait. Remember the disciples? What happened when they waited and it was evening? They got into the boat. What happened while they were in the boat? There was a storm. But when Jesus came, he calmed it down, supposing they had waited for Jesus. Probably maybe for another one minute, Jesus would have been there. We are told they had just moved about four to five kilometers. That is the distance maybe in waters of about, maybe not 10 minutes, supposing they had waited for another 10 minutes. Would they have gone through the screaming and being fearful? Probably if Jesus had not come, they would have died in the waters, supposing they had waited for another few minutes. So let us wait and let us wait in God. And let us believe that at God's right time, that which we have trusted God for, even this disease, and not only the COVID-19, but even many other diseases, 
we have heard of cancer. What is the other disease that you've heard of, children? What is the other one? Diabetes. Others are saying homa. Others are saying headache. God is going to give us a solution. But he is teaching us this morning that we must pray and we must be patient with him. And I remember a song we normally sing in Sunday school or even in church. Do we know it, children? You're wondering which one. It says, Mambo sawa sawa. Mambo sawa sawa. Yesu akiwa maisha ni mwangu. Mambo sawa sawa. 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 Yesu akiwa enzini. Mambo sawa sawa. Mambo sawa sawa. Mambo sawa sawa. So what are we saying this morning? Mambo yote iko sawa. If we allow Jesus into our lives, if we allow Jesus into the things that we do, if we allow Jesus to come and be the guide and the leader of our lives, it doesn't matter. We will get to our destiny. That which we need and want very much, God is going to provide. Tukiwa tutoto tudogo, tuingine tukubwa kidogo, wengine wakubwa. Jesus uh, provided before, and even today he will provide, and even tomorrow he is going to provide unto us. If only we are willing to be patient, because the word of God is calling us this moment and this morning to walk in patience. And so we are going to hear our memory verse. And our memory verse is from the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 14. And I'm going to read. It says, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart. Wait for the Lord. Did we hear that, children? Can we say it together? The Bible says, wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Wait for the Lord. What does our memory verse say again? Wait for the Lord. Take heart. Be strong. Take heart. Wait for the Lord. And so this morning we are saying, even in Corona, let us be patient. Schools, we want to go back to school because of our friends. Some of us have missed our teachers, but then a disease has come that is teaching us to be patient. It is also a moment for us to call on the Lord and teach us to be more patient with him. When our parents tell us, not today, let us not tell them, no, ma'am, you promised last Sunday, hata ingine apana. Let us be patient with our parents. Let us understand when they tell us, not today, ma'am, not today, dad, please, let us be patient with our parents. Let us wait for Jesus. And when he's in our lives, we shall cross faster than we thought all should have. Just like the disciples, when Jesus got into the boat, they crossed faster than maybe they could have thought. In that moment before Jesus came, they thought maybe we are going to die in these seas. We are going to die in these waters. But what happened when Jesus suddenly appeared? He told them, I am here. Don't be afraid. That is what we are calling God this morning to tell us. God, may you tell us that you're here and we should not be afraid. Thank you so much, children. Thank you for listening to me. I pray that God may help each one of us to be patient with one another and above all to be patient even as we wait for the Lord to do that which we have entrusted him to do for us. Thank you so much and let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for your word this morning. Thank you to, to, for teaching us to be patient, O oh Father, patient with you, O oh God, patient with ourselves, O oh God patient with the parents that you've given us, O oh God, and even patient with the people that are around us, O oh dear Father. God, I pray that you may teach these little children the virtue of waiting, O oh dear Father. 
God, we know that patient is a fruit of the Holy Spirit, O oh God. May you, Father, help us to bear that fruit, O oh God, that King of Groly, we may learn to wait and wait upon you, dear Father. We thank you, Lord, and we worship you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, thank you, children. Thank you for listening to the word of God this morning. May you be blessed. Remember what we said when we began. We continue to pray and read our Bibles every, every day. And now we are going to end our session with the word of grace. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship from the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Bye, children. Love you all. We see you on Sunday again. What time again? What time does our church school begin? Yes, we see you at, at what time? At 10. Okay, children? Yes, and say hi to mommy and daddy. And please remember to tell them what you learned in church school today. Bye.